Welcome to a journey that begins with a single seed and culminates in a bountiful harvest. This voyage, a testament to life's extraordinary cycle, showcases the transformation of a tiny seed into a thriving plant. It's a world where roots take hold, sprouts break through to sunlight, and lush foliage bears fruits of labor. A world that waits to be discovered, one seed at a time. So buckle up, green thumbs and curious souls. Now, let's delve into the miraculous world of gardening. The first step is selecting your seeds. The choices are endless. Imagine a world brimming with color and life, a world you can create right in your backyard. The first step towards this vibrant world is choosing the right seeds. Seeds are the tiny packets of potential that can transform your garden into a lush, thriving Eden. Let's start with vegetables. Imagine the satisfaction of biting into a juicy tomato or a crisp cucumber that you've grown yourself. From leafy greens like spinach and kale to root vegetables like carrots and turnips, the possibilities are vast. Each vegetable brings with it its own unique set of benefits and care requirements. For instance, leafy greens love cooler temperatures, while tomatoes thrive in the heat of summer. Next, we have fruits. Fancy a homegrown apple or a handful of fresh berries? Fruit plants can be a delightful addition to your garden providing not only delicious produce, but also adding a splash of color. Remember, fruit plants often require a bit more care and patience, but the reward is worth the wait. Flowers, on the other hand, are the artists of the plant world. They paint your garden with vibrant hues and intricate patterns, from sunflowers towering above the rest to daisies dotting your garden with their cheerful faces. Flowers come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. They not only beautify your garden, but also attract pollinators, playing a crucial role in your garden's ecosystem. Last but not least, herbs. These hardy little plants pack a punch, whether it's the fresh aroma of mint, the earthy taste of rosemary, or the calming effect of chamomile, herbs are a garden's secret weapon. They're easy to grow and can be used in a variety of ways, from cooking to home remedies. Each seed holds a world within it, a world that you can nurture and grow. So take your time choosing your seeds. Think about what you want from your garden. Is it a bounty of fresh produce, a burst of color, or a haven for wildlife? Your seeds will set the stage for what's to come. With your seeds chosen, you're ready for the next step. A successful garden begins with well-prepared soil. That's right, the secret to a bountiful harvest lies beneath our feet. Soil is not just dirt, it's a complex ecosystem teeming with life and packed full of essential nutrients your plants need to thrive. So how do we create this fertile ground for planting? It all starts with understanding soil composition. Your soil is a blend of three main components, sand, silt, and clay. This trio determines your soil's texture, which can range from gritty sand to sticky clay. The ideal soil, often called loam, is a balanced mix of all three. It's perfect for most plants, providing good drainage while retaining enough moisture and nutrients. But the soil's job doesn't stop at texture. It also plays a crucial role in maintaining the right pH balance. You see, pH is a measure of acidity or alkalinity, and it can greatly affect your plant's ability to absorb nutrients. Most plants prefer a slightly acidic to neutral pH, falling between 6 and 7 on the pH scale. However, certain plants have specific pH preferences, so it's always a good idea to research your plant's needs. Now let's talk about the nutrients. The soil is a natural pantry for your plants, supplying them with essential nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These are the big three, often referred to as NPK. Nitrogen promotes leafy green growth, phosphorus is all about root and flower development, and potassium ensures overall plant health. Testing your soil is a great way to understand its composition, pH level, and nutrient content. You can use a home soil test kit or send a sample to a local extension service. Once you have your results, you can amend your soil accordingly, adding organic matter like compost or manure to improve texture and nutrient content, or lime or sulfur to adjust pH. Remember, preparing your soil is like laying a solid foundation for a house. It takes time and effort but the payoff is well worth it. Healthy soil equals healthy plants, and healthy plants equal a bountiful harvest. With your soil ready, it's time to plant. Planting your seeds is a critical step in starting your garden. It's not just about pushing a seed into the dirt, it's about giving life to a new plant and setting the stage for a successful harvest. 
So let's delve into the how-to of sowing seeds. First, dig a hole. The depth will depend on your seed type. For tiny seeds like lettuce, a shallow hole is enough, but for larger seeds like beans, you'll want to go deeper. Remember, a good rule of thumb is to plant a seed two to three times as deep as its width. Spacing is also key. Overcrowded seedlings can compete for light and nutrients, hampering growth. So give your seeds room to breathe and grow. For early starters or those in colder climates, indoor germination can be a game changer. Simply plant your seeds in a small container, place it in a warm spot and watch them sprout. With your seeds in the soil, the real growth begins. Taking care of your growing plants is essential for a bountiful harvest. As your seedlings take root and start to grow, they will need consistent attention to ensure they reach their full potential. Watering is one of the most crucial aspects of plant care. It might seem simple, but there's a bit of an art to it. Plants need a drink, yes, but not all plants like to sip their water the same way. Some prefer a deep soak less frequently, while others may need a lighter touch more often. It's essential to understand the watering needs of your specific plants to avoid overwatering or underwatering them. Sunlight, the life force of all green things, is another key factor. Most plants love the sun, but not all can handle full exposure all day. Some need a bit of shade to prevent their leaves from burning. Understanding your plant's sunlight requirements will help you position them in your garden or home for optimal growth. Let's not forget about spacing. Plants need room to breathe and grow. Overcrowded plants can compete for sunlight, water, and nutrients, stunting their growth and making them more susceptible to disease. So ensure each plant has enough space to spread its roots and leaves. Now, as your plants grow, you may need to do a bit of pruning and training. Pruning involves removing dead or overgrown branches or stems to promote healthy growth. It's not about being cruel. It's about being kind. You're helping your plants focus their energy on the parts that are thriving. Training plants, particularly climbing ones, involves guiding their growth direction. You might use stakes, trellises, or cages to help your plants grow in the way that's best for them. It's a bit like being a plant personal trainer that helping them reach their peak performance. Remember, the goal is to create the optimal environment for your plants to grow and flourish. It's about balance, understanding, and a little bit of love. With proper care, your plants will thrive. And in return, they'll reward you with a flourishing garden and a bountiful harvest. So let's get those green thumbs to work. Dealing with pests and diseases is part of the gardening journey. It's inevitable to encounter a few unwanted visitors or signs of plant illness. However, fear not. With a keen eye and some organic solutions, you can tackle these issues head on. Common pests, such as aphids, snails, and caterpillars can be managed with simple eco-friendly methods. Releasing beneficial insects, like ladybugs, can help control aphid populations. Alternatively, a homemade garlic spray can deter most critters without causing harm. Diseases often present as discoloration, spots, or abnormal growth on your plants. Fungal infections, for example, can be treated with a mix of baking soda and water sprayed directly onto the affected areas. Prevention is always better than cure. Regular checks, proper watering, and adequate spacing between plants can minimize the risk of pests and diseases. Also, consider companion planting. Certain plant combinations can deter pests and boost overall garden health. With these tips, you can keep your garden healthy and thriving. The most rewarding part of gardening is harvesting your bounty. It's the moment when all your hard work, patience, and nurturing come to fruition. Harvesting is more than just picking your produce. It's an art form all on its own. Each plant, be it a vegetable, fruit, herb, or flower, has a unique harvesting time. Some plants like beans and peas can be picked throughout the season, while others like tomatoes and peppers are best harvested when they are fully ripe and vibrant in color. When harvesting, it's crucial to use the right tools. A pair of sharp garden shears can make quick work of harvesting most fruits and vegetables, while gloved hands are perfect for delicate tasks like plucking berries or pinching off herbs. As you pull, pluck, and pick, take a moment to relish the satisfaction of collecting what you've grown. Feel the smooth skin of a ripe tomato, the rough texture of a cucumber, the softness of a sprig of mint. 
Smell the earthy scent of freshly dug potatoes, the sweet aroma of strawberries, the sharp tang of basil. Harvesting isn't just about the end result, it's about the experience, the joy of being in your garden, and the satisfaction of knowing that you've nurtured these plants from tiny seeds to bountiful harvests. And there you have it, from seed to harvest.